Hey there, I'm Nicole King. I'm the broker owner of 41 Realty Group in Billings, Montana, back again with Ian Ullman with Guaranteed Rate. Um, there's been a lot of news about interest rate fluctuation, especially going up. Um, most people are making the assumption that every time the Fed increases, so must mortgage rates. So tell us, are mortgage interest rates actually tied directly to what the Fed does with their, their rates? That is a great question, and we get it multiple times a week, honestly. I'm sure. Uh, a lot of conversations I have, people say, oh, the Fed's jumping the rates, what's that doing to you guys? You know, So uh, it is not a direct correlation. The, the federal funds rate, which is the most common that we see uh, the Fed doing their increases on, okay. is actually the rate that the Federal Reserve lends money to banks, depository institutions, and that banks actually lend to each other. Okay. Uh, so that's the thing that happens. Uh, so that more directly impacts consumer debt um, credit cards, car loans, personal loans, because that's all the bank's money plus margin. So if they're having to pay more to borrow the money to then lend it to us, sure. it goes that route. Uh, the mortgage side, uh, because mortgage rates are much more investor market driven, uh, that's a piece of the pie. It's definitely looked at as an indicator of overall market confidence and stability, which okay. translates to risk for mortgage. Sure. So it impacts us, but it's not a direct correlation. There's uh, historical times where the Fed is increasing rates and it actually helps stem some inflation so it calms the market to where our rates might actually come down. Okay. Uh, not always a direct correlation but uh, yeah it's kind of a one of the market indicators the mortgage world looks at but by no means is it if the Fed goes up a half point I'm jumping a half point today that's not how it works. Okay and we need to remind everybody that interest rate for somebody's loan is incredibly specific to them, their financial situation, all of that. So really they can't just look at some index online and go, oh, that's going to be my rate, right? Correct. Yeah, yeah. there's an abundance of, of factors that go in all the way from loan type, uh, property type, uh, the purpose of the property, if you're going to live in it or if rent it out or if it's a second home. Yeah. Uh, all of those factors impact your interest rate. So yeah, if you see a rate online and just say, that's my rate, probably not going to be the case most times. Okay, perfect. So if somebody wants to find out their particular rate, get a hold of you or their other lender. Absolutely. Okay. All right. If you guys have any lending, mortgage lending specific questions, we would love to answer them. Uh, shoot us a message, put a comment below, any, any way to get the information over to us. We are happy to answer those questions for you and we'll see you in the next video.